hello and welcome back to gaming blockbuster well this is the second video for chimera land the new open world mmorpg well well in this video i will explain to how you can just level up faster first you can see all the quests in the quest tab the main quest by bella murali yemi and roller <coughs> The main quest from Bella gives you a huge amount of EXP to level up. Then we will come to <coughs> Roller. Here you can see you can accept some bounty quest. Bounty quest, uh, you can accept 6 per day. You can see we can track the location of the bounty quest here. From here we shall start the travel. Let's see, let's call the pet first. Which one to use? okay let's fly to the location here we go it's 6.9 miles away the bounty quest you can actually accept bounty quest from any of the tri tribe well we will accept quest from the Hansel tribe because it is there in <coughs> west mount So I guess it will take a pretty long time and this gyro is creating a little mess with the flying. It's pretty hard to control this one with gyroscope on. Okay, let's see. Keeping a balance with gyroscope. Okay, no, it's, a, it's a really hard to use the gyroscope. <laughs> flying and gyroscope is very hard. Also changing the inverted axis is creating a little problem in the flying methods. Okay, let's see. Let's try again. No, damn, it's not working. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> let's see. So I can see a freaking tornado. I just hope I just don't get stuck in that. Uh, Uh, it's 5.6 mile okay i guess i'm getting a control a little much but it's still very hard to change the direction and all using a gyroscope for flying let's land first make a smooth landing uh, that was very rough landing let's change the gyroscope first let's see graphics battle view yeah gyroscope off now it's now it looks pretty decent let's make our second flight to our bounty quest so here we go now we are not going yeah now we are going 5.2 miles yeah now it's pretty smooth to control the camera and direction So I don't know, I would like highly recommend not to use gyroscope while flying, especially a condo. So it's still 4.7 miles. The distance is pretty huge, so I, I think flying is the best possible way to get there fast. I actually like the scenic beauty of this game that is uh, very uh, decent, even though I'm not running it in the max graphics. But I like it. Let's see. We are moving. It's around 3.9 miles. We are going over the mountains. <laughs> So, well, there are bounty quests, there are actually a lot of stuff you can do to gain a huge amount of EXP and level up fast. And bounty quest, I guess it will unlock at um, around level 12, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't remember actually at what level <clears throat> bounty quest unlocks, but you can like accept six quests daily and you can like, you will get three options for bounty quest. You can select whichever 
you like and i would like highly suggest selecting the four star ones or five star ones and also do check that what quest are they and making simple quest like uh, delivering 40 apples or something like that that gives a huge amount of xp like 6000 xp at once so those kind of particular quests are very helpful because you have to do less work and the very peculiar type of quest that you will face is about uh, you know like killing the small uh, animals so the small animals are not all the regular beasts that you see while gathering various item you will uh, like let's say orchid trees logging mining any kind of extra ex activities that you're doing for life skills sometimes you will see a small kind of creature will spawn let's say it's a row cat or a trapper so uh, those are particularly the small animals you have to kill them or collect the small animal meat that is the best thing you can possibly do and that those particular quests also give a huge amount of xp but it do takes a good amount of time because there is no indication that from where it will spawn so you have to keep in mind how you do that quest so we are almost there around 108 pace we are almost there let's make a smooth landing now Yeah, now that's a decent landing so here we go we are almost at the edge of the west mount continent so i don't think i can proceed much further so we here at the hansel tribe and you can also see there are different npcs standing around this area uh, you can talk to them they can give you some extra quest also so we are almost here now we can accept the bounty yes this is the limit i can go this is the limit of west mount continent you can see there are various kind of quest giving various of options so which one to select you have to like there are star marking uh, showing the difficulty of every quest so we will select six different quests that gives the highest amount of XP and I will also suggest uh, selecting those one that all gives takes less time so that we can finish our stuff faster because there are a lot of other stuff we have to focus in this particular game so here we got our five star quest so we'll accept that one adventure trial risk trial you can see there are different types of trial uh, survival trial so it kind of depends on which one you select and which one gives more of the better quest you can also use the free refresh you can like refresh once for free uh, that will give you a better quests so here we got a better quest we will select this uh, okay so sometime making some recipes and stuff and delivering those are also considered in one of the bounty quest then we will be we have exceeded the limit so we have taken all the six bounty quest now when you go to the uh, quest tab you can see near that particular npc roller you can see all your six different quests after you complete the quest you have to click and there will be that deliver option like this when you're done delivering uh, the quest automatically gets completed and it turns ash from green the color changes from for the quest tabs then we then there are different types so let's see what we have three star three star four star so we have taken a decent amount of good xp quest now let's see let's spawn this one since we're just gonna you know like travel by land so let's go okay this guy had bad hp let's feed him some hp pills so we started to move again and after bounty quest there are different methods of gaining xp so i will explain it now that what other ways you can actually gain more xp so at first when you uh, in this game there is an option called shop 
here and then you see this particular item called garlic oyster feast you have to purchase uh, you can purchase five per day so i will highly recommend you to purchase it five every day because it gives a lot of xp then we here comes with the intelligence pill so this one is particularly for the attendance and uh, mounts this also gives a huge amount of xp for your pets that is not for you it's particularly for the pets not for character and after this there are different types of stuff you can buy but these are the two important thing first that you need to do for xp and leveling up fast and next is when you have to first join a clan there will be a clan shop that is another important thing that you should do first let's get back to our home so here we go so we have spawned back in our home now here as you can see when you join a clan and your clan must have okay first let's check this one from here you can see different trials you get these particular pills that will help you level up your pets precisely and then you can have this particular thing this also helps a little much increasing your hp and different stats of your pet now let's move towards the clan shop okay first here we have the spirit gatherer you can like claim a decent amount of xp from here also as you can see then we have mirage yeah from here you just get some currencies but not actually xp uh, now let's move forward as you can see here we have our clan shop you can use this and go to curio and from here you can see the sky search sky chart spell it is very helpful in leveling up your pets it's it's it give 20000 xp to your pets and uh, it's a very essential item from your clan shop and after you're done with this you can see you can all different types of stuff this is the secret training portal from here you can just open a portal or from map you can just spot another secret training portal that is available on your map uh, from here you in the number of beasts you kill you get a huge amount of xp from this secret portals you can see these are different markings and this one is, is this one is a secret training portal that is 3.9 miles away now after this let's move to this area now we have a central pillar and while for easy transportation uh, i would highly recommend you to activate all the central pillars in your continent because then you can like travel to different parts of the continent easily and that will be just like teleport and you can teleport to all those central pillars so you don't have to go miles and miles manually so let's make our second voyage towards the central pillar from there there is another very essential thing that you can use for leveling up your character that is the scenic spot so i will show you the scenic pot spots in those particular area let's first get to the central pillar so here we are let's mark the central pillar so it is marked let's see it's 6.7 miles away from our current location so here we take our flight towards the central pillar well uh, to be honest condos are the very essential travel partner you will need in this game because of their high energy and their ability to cover miles and miles without resting most of the other flying creatures might ha uh, need to take a little rest before they can cover huge miles because they have a lesser energy but condos are the best thing that you can get currently at your lower levels so it's in early level condo is the best thing so here we use our sniper well there are some bosses around so here we go moving towards the pillar we got a glide faster well there are different terrains you can look at like in each and every continent like there are snowy areas there are sandy areas there are meadows and everything and also there are different 
you know different types of creatures in different areas and to level up your creature faster getting more experiences having a lot of temp and just using them to devour is another very uh, peculiar way to gain a lot of pet experience and also if you have eggs that are not useful to you you can actually devour those eggs just placing it in front of your pet not on the hatch on any random land so the pet will devour it and there's a higher chance of getting a lot of attributes from that particular egg so that way you can also level up your pet and this is possibly the good way so i would like highly recommend to level up the horse and then condo these stuffs are very handy because of their speed and mobility they give a huge amount of buffs and powers evolving those these particular pets is very good like when you can make the dragon horse it's it's super beneficial because it can fly and also it can just move miles on land so here we are we are like three miles away from our particular location so we are trying to move as fast we can with the gliding and everything as you can see the controls are much easier without the gyroscope but i think gyroscope is very useful during you know like ranged fights using exbow snipers and everything so that time i i don't know i just like using gyroscope but it's very hard to use this flying units using the gyroscope so we are almost here 1.9 miles to cover here we are moving again 1.7 miles well we are near this icy area the one of the most interesting factor about this game is just you can like build house anywhere and everywhere so i like that thing about this game particularly so here we are we are we are there in our location 125 paces as you can see it's a hundred ninety-five. We're almost there. There should be this giant, huge, humongous, tall pillar. This one. So there are, I guess, five or six of these things around the entire map of your continent. Activating these pillars are very most beneficial. So you can like uh, teleport your character around the entire continent without like flying <laughs> manually like I am doing right now. So we will just activate this pillar first. So here we are. Well I guess my character is feeling a little cold here because of the terrain. So we are done with this. Let's just keep the animation and now we will move towards the scenic spot so here we have activated this pillar also now let's see as you can see in this in this particular terrain you this see this uh, stone rock type symbol these are the scenic spots and unlocking scenic spots also gives you like 1000 xp every time and also 10 sages so you can see this one here in resources this scenic spots you can like click them and make a search and it will just show you the different location where the scenic spots are the scenic spots are very useful in early level up you can like use those garlic uh, garlic feast and scenic spots to almost like jump to level 20 in just few minutes instead of grinding hard well see you in the next video